Good morning, everybody. Hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to the channel. I just got out of the shower. There's not many days out there that we get to report on life-saving news out there. And seemingly, Nate Shaw moving to Texas has been very eventful. As within a few days of him going to Texas and finally leaving LA, well, he has now saved Skump's life. This is a storyteller. We hear it from both Skump's perspective and Nate Shot's lengthy explanation as to how he saved Skump from choking to death. Like a... Like I literally could not breathe. No noise uh, coming out of his mouth. But 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 let me let me just let me also set let me also set the 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 uh, the story up a little bit better. So these steak quesadillas or steak fajitas were cold and they were chewy as shit. So I'm like I I don't really chew it as well as I probably should have. I was so hungry, so I'm just ripping that shit right. So I literally was choking, and then I look at Matt. And I'm like, they said I was all star. I was starting to turn. What, what, tell me, tell me what color I was starting to turn. He started to turn red, fucking purple. I mean, we were blacking out, dude. I couldn't even tell. It looked like every color of the rainbow. Yeah, I couldn't. I had no idea that you were so legitimately looking, choking until you started going like. So I'm looking at Matt, and I'm like this. I'm like, I'm dead ass choking. I, I'm looking at Matt like this, like freaking the fuck out. I couldn't. I literally couldn't breathe. So Matt gets behind me and gave me the craziest. <laughs> Back shots of all time. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, dude, I fucked that man. After he did the Heimlich on me, he did it a couple times. No, no, no. You they, they, you got to focus Look, in on this, bro. Extra. So he's doing the, the the choking. And I see him, and all of a sudden okay, I just take, you I, can take over from here. I grab him, and it's like when you see somebody do the Heimlich remover or Heimlich maneuver, and you you learn how to do it. You you think, okay, I'm never gonna have to do this for my entire life, and. I, I, I just figured that we're going to wail on this motherfucker until we get this meetup. Genuinely Yo, did think uh, because... Until we get this meetup. Well, the first, Yo, the, dude, first this thrust... Is getting, this is getting crazy. No, first thrust, nothing happened, right? And then the second thrust, all of a sudden, Seth just starts throwing up profusely. I, I fucking rip into okay, his whoa, diaphragm. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? I mean, profusely. It was like I foam. It was like, it was like it was like it was like foam. I legitimately cleaned up your fucking out. throw up with your wife, yeah, you, Seth. I can tell you, you what it is. It looked like dog. You didn't have to do that. And throughout this entire thing, it was almost really. It was very difficult to keep in mind that Scump almost died. Okay, because the entire time everyone was making meat jokes. As it seems, Scump was trying to scarf down a steak fajita, maybe a bit too fast, and. uh it got lodged up in there, causing Matt to have to do the Heimlich and save his life. And uh, again, throughout the entire time, people were making all sorts of jokes. And so it was hard <laughs> to, it was hard to take this one as seriously as we probably should have. Skump could have died, which is crazy because previously they were also joking about how, how banger of a funeral stream there would have been and how many more viewers there would be to spread around if Skump hadn't made it. Luckily, he beat the steak fajita. All right. Wait, I, so I wait, did wait, do wait. that. What are you talking about? Wait, wait, wait. So it came up or it went down? I thought it went down. What do you mean it came up or the it steak, went down? The steak, the steak, the steak. All of it came up and out, bro. It was oh. beer, steak. We, I mean, we oh. we got, you were choking. And after two Heimlichs, it actually worked and everything came out. But I keep, I keep doing it because he's not saying anything. He's not making any noise still besides that throw up. As soon as the throw up came out, I'm like, thank God. All of a sudden, Izzy beelines and runs over because everybody's still kind of talking to each other. Nobody realized what's going on. As soon as Izzy finds out his wife, she sprints over and just starts fucking wailing Yo, on his back. She started punching me. She's like, call 911, call 911, starts hitting him. And I do Dude, it like four- She started dead ass like punching me. Four or five more times, still not saying anything. I'm like, am I not strong enough to actually get, is he still choking? In that moment, I thought like, holy shit, he, he could actually die. So I see TP, I'm like, yo, you're bigger than me, just start doing it. He gave him like two, and then all of a sudden, Seth, we hear him breathing, he starts talking. Uh, but Yo, it was crazy, though. It was like, it was no bullshit, the most adrenaline. It, it, it was like, it was like the weirdest feeling ever, because I've never, I've, I've never choked on anything before. Pause. I know. Mm -hmm. th this is a hard one to have on Twitch. No, I Rambo, I, it's a hard one. I took too I, much meat. I, I hate to be that guy. To come over but I did. Back shots. No, I'm the this one. is a hard I story. The host, the host, the host served life. cold food. Genuinely. And then Nate shot. And I'm not here to gloat about it. That's pretty but much. But I do want the record to show. What happened? Like that optic van. Imagine the fucking optic without you. Jesus Christ. I'm not going to lie to you. I will never. I don't think I'll ever, ever, ever in my life from this moment on eat a steak fajita without cutting it up into small pieces beforehand. Because I like, 
You know when you get a steak fajita and there's a long strips so and you bite into yeah. it and you just rip the you meat? You rip that thing off, yeah. So I probably had like a strip and a half of meat, the tortilla. Like it was a big ass bite. And, and the wildest part about this is uh, uh, confirmed from eyewitnesses. Uh, someone like Symphony, others have confirmed this. Nate shot himself, even admitted to it, uh, that shortly after saving Scum's life, he asked him for gifted subs. Yes, and later on, Scump apparently gave him 25 gifted. Uh, evidently, that's the price of saving a life or saving Scump was 25 gifted. He's... I can't believe that Matt saved Seth's life last night and then asked for gifted subs. That's that's some of the craziest oh, shit he, I've yo, ever heard. He asked for gifted subs like not too long after, too. I mean, yeah, it like was... Yeah, after, yeah, it like was... Right after. I mean, that's <laughs> insane. Like, they were like, Tim, how many gifted subs would you give Matt for saving your life? And I was like, we're really trying to put, like, a money value on Scum's life here? I mean, I, I would ask for gifted subs if I saved your life. I can't believe Seth almost died. I mean, that was... That, that was fucking insane. Yeah, Holy shit. Scary. And then afterwards, he kept saying sorry. I'm like, brother, yeah, I'm, just, I'm just glad you're here right now. Like, what? don't say sorry, dude. Holy shit. And I'll never do it again. But... So so, go ahead, go ahead. So, just to confirm, Nate shot saved your life. I knew it after was After almost killing him. I'll take 100. After by serving, I'll take 100. by serving the cold food. Seth, Matt, Seth took too much meat. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, Sam, hold on. He, he, he was about to say something. Let's hear it. <laughs> Yo, you're crazy. Matt did save my life. Is actually looking at me <laughs> yesterday in bed and was like, you know Matt saved your life today, right? And I was like, can you fucking stop? Like, you're, I'm, I'm in bed. I'm about to go to bed. I'm literally sleeping. She's like, you could have died. And I'm like, oh, my God. You need to chill. Are you going like, to get them subs? I mean, no, uh, no. Even if he doesn't end up giving me subs, I just, I, I now hold this, still putting in this power. I, I, can, I can bring this up, like, once a year for the rest of my life. If Seth ever gives me lip, if he ever says some shit, oh, he's got, oh, you got small meat. Oh, you suck at this game. Oh, you're a terrible friend. I'll say I saved your life. Remember the time I saved your you life? Remember that time that. So, all in all, I think people are really enjoying the Black Ops 6 beta. What about you guys? And that is the story of Nate Shot saving Scump's life. And I'm sure Scump will see that and hear that for the rest of his time being on Earth. And it's just a, a great reminder out there, guys. All right, jokes aside, you got to be careful. Chew your food, swallow properly. All right, you don't want to go out the way that Scump almost did. Like, that is a terrible end to such a legacy career. Can you imagine one of the COD GOATs, one of the greatest all time in esports, like dies to a steak fajita? That's not how we want uh, people going out and we don't want people dying. And we also don't want those headlines out there for gamers. That would have been a terrible look. So props to Nade Shot. What a, what a crazy day. Till next time, hope you guys all enjoy. Thanks to everyone who's been sending clips, joining the Discord, leaving comments. We do appreciate you guys, okay? I'm gonna go choke down some espresso and I'll see you guys back here bright and early tomorrow. Take care.